Okay, so I'd like to talk through about how to put up a bag of fluids because it's a misconception this is just a nurse's job to do this. Um, I think it's a useful skill when you're dealing with critically unwell patients, it's really handy to be able to do. And it's also something that may come up in your final examinations. So you need three things to do it properly. In addition to a sterile trolley, which we don't have here, which you would do on the wards. But you need bags of fluid, you need a giving set, and you need some sterile gloves, ideally in addition to a drip stand, okay? So firstly, when you open sterile gloves, you've got to bear in mind that it gives you a sort of a mobile sterile field. So you can open it, and I'm putting it on the bench, but you put that on your trolley that's already cleaned, and you'd leave it like that. Now, when you have the bag of fluid, you need to check it for certain things. You need to check to make sure that it's sealed and it hasn't been tampered with that there's no discolorants or any problems with the fluid itself, and also that it's in date and the batch number and things like that. So this is 0.9% sodium chloride and it expires February 2016. Now there's a tear mark on the top of these bags and you've got to bear in, side, bear in mind that inside this bag everything is sterile. So you can open this in a way that you can hang it without de-sterilizing the, the actual bag. And that's why I'm doing this without gloves. So you tear it, and then you can work the fluid out. It's slightly harder because it's a bigger bag, but just be careful not to touch the bag inside. And you work the bag of fluid out so you can hang the top of it like this, without touching anywhere near where you're gonna be connecting this set to give the fluid. Okay, so again, you open up the sterile giving set, you check that it's in date, and that the seal hasn't been tampered with and you can open that on your trolley. Okay, so not just putting up fluids, but any procedure where you'd like to wear sterile gloves, you hold the inside of the glove without de-sterilizing it and put your hand in, only touching the inside because this bit is gonna to touch your skin and that's fine. So you put that one on like that. Being careful not to rip the glove. The second glove is slightly easier because the fingers that are in the sterile hand can touch the fingers here. And you make sure that the glove has got the thumb in the right place and this hand can go inside there so you're only touching the bit that doesn't touch your skin. And that wasn't quite as smooth as it should have been because it was the wrong way around. But you can still correct yourself in finals if you do that. Okay, so now you've got your gloves on and you're sterile and you've got your fluid hanging there. Bearing in mind that this, you haven't de-sterilized this and your hands are still clean. You can remove this cap from this and that's just a twisting motion like that. And you inject it through the port. You add, you connect the giving set to the port where you've removed the twisted cap. This is the injection port that you would clean and if you wanted to add potassium or any other things to this fluid, you'd inject it through there. So you do not connect fluids to this, as I've seen some students trying to do before finals. Now, when you get the giving set, this isn't really set up to help you in finals. In the sense, the wheel to control the fluid is miles away from where you're gonna spike the bag. So the first thing I'd recommend you do is move this wheel up closer to where the spike is, like that, okay? Once you've done that, you close the wheel and you can make use of this little port on the side where you can just hold that like this. And then that's a lot neater and easier to use. So you move this spike, the cap off the spike, and you hold the bag, forcing it right the way through almost like a Capri Sun, being careful not to pierce the bag on your way through. Now, before you let fluid go through this, it's really important to loosen this cap here because if fluid goes into it, it seals and it's really hard to take it off. So you loosen that cap and just leave it on the, on the top and then you can squeeze the chamber, get some fluid in there and release the wheel to the top and you'll see that fluid going all the way down with no bubbles in it just to the end. And this is the point where in finals, you need to really control it just with this so it doesn't spray fluid all over the floor. And then once you've got, you've primed the line, ready to be given, 
you can hang it up and that is a slightly easier way of putting up a bag of fluids. Really important skill, especially in the acutely unwell patient.